All right, so we are going to set you up with Edmodo. Um, and so you have this document in the Google Drive under the PLC for Digital Learning folder. And it should be under Programs and under Edmodo. So you want to find that and it will have your class code. You can also contact Lindsay Stevenson or um, Monica McWhorter and both of them would be able to give you your class, your school code as well. So once you've done that, um, you're going to go to Edmodo online and you want to go to olathaschools.edmodo.com and so once you've done that you're going to just take a moment and let's talk about the purpose of Edmodo. So why would you use Edmodo in your classroom? The number one reason that people use Edmodo in their classroom is to communicate. It's to communicate with your students in a safe and kind of controlled manner. Students can set their phones up for alerts so when you do send out assignments or you send out reminders, anything of that sort, the students will get an alert on their phone and they'll know to go check it. You can also be alerted by email when students have questions. So it's a good way for students to be able to ask you questions from home or students can get their work you know, from you or get their work that they need to make up and communicate back and forth. There's also a quiz option and a reminder or alert option but a lot of times people use this to push out assignments in notes. They push out assignments. We could do writing assignments this way too. As you move through the playlist, you will find these are the different ways to use Edmodo. The primary way reason that people use Edmodo is to communicate effectively with their students. So you're going to click on Teacher, and this is where you'll put your school code. And you get that from the document here that we showed before, or asking uh, McWhorter or Stevenson for that code. So just fill in your information, click sign up. Once you do that, um, you will give, come to your home page. And your home page is going to be pretty empty. Um, you're going to have kind of an empty home page that looks similar to this. If you wanted to, you won't have anything under groups at all. If you want to add your group, you'll hit plus sign create, and then you will name your group. So maybe I say hour one. And ask you a bunch of questions and you type all of those in and hit create. And so once you've created your group you have a key uh, a code and that code goes to your students. You invite students by giving them this group code and then all they have to do is go to their most of them already have an account they just type it in and add you to their groups. And so that is how you add a group.